Hi, Mini Beanies, and welcome to our podcast. If you enjoy some of the songs you hear in our stories, then head to our YouTube channel. It's full of music videos so you can sing and dance along with us. They're lots of fun. And there's a lot of different dances and nursery rhymes too. Just head to youtube.com slash at the beanies. Now on with the show. Hi, Hi Mini Beanies. beanies. It's the Beanies here. That means you're with Laura, Mim and Michael. Today we might meet a mermaid, do some paintings and learn about some fun arts and crafts. Are you ready, Mini Beanies? Let's Let's go. go. Okay, Beanies, the sun is shining. We have our paints and we have our aprons for when Michael Beanie throws paint at us. Hey, I have an unruly paint style. Let's get ready for one of Mim Beanie's painting in the park art lessons. Picard lesson. No, it's Mim Beanie's painting in the park art. A fart lesson. Oh, no, that's you after dinner. <laughs> okay, 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 everyone, sh- listening to Mim Beanie again. Now, for today's Mim Beanie painting in the park art lesson, we'll be painting flowers. Now, just here are some lilies we can paint. If everyone will please grab their paintbrush. What about this flower? (gasps) Michael, don't pull flowers out of the ground. It's their home. I put the flower on a rock. It's my new art piece. I call it Seasons of Life. (laughs) Oh, hey, look. I put this rock in paint. I call this art piece the comet and the sky. Okay, yeah, 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 beanies. Uh, we're not... Mm, yes, I would like to buy your art for a million dollars, please. Well, I think it's worth a billion dollars. Hmm, well, I'd have to get this verified. Don't make me blow the everyone listen to Mim whistle. <clears throat> now, are we going to do the park art lesson that I've prepared, or are we going to keep annoying Mim Beanie? Oh, oh, can I tell a story first? <sighs> Michael, if you tell a story, do you promise to do park art after? Hmm, maybe. We both know that's the best you're going to get, Mim. Fine. In a great ocean, in a great barrier reef, was a great art school. This school was special for a few reasons. Firstly, it was the most super important, expensivest, hardest to get into art school there was. Secondly, it was a school just for mermaids. Every day, mermaids with their pretty hair and sparkly tail would come to class to learn all about making fine art. Okay, class, set up your canvas, paints and paintbrushes. Today we will work on... Oh, no, 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 Elizabeth. What are they? Um, my paintbrushes? No, 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 these are not paintbrushes. These are seaweed and snail shells. Throw them away. If you want your paintings to be shown at the Coral High Museum or the Modern Trout, then you must use the best paint and the best paintbrushes money can buy. And you must also paint exactly what I tell you to paint. The teacher then swam over to the other side of the class to another mermaid student. Remy. Why, look at Remy here. She has the pearl-studded paintbrushes and the paints of the rare rainbow squid. Here we have a student that can be a great painter, as long as she follows my instructions. Then came a grumbling from the back of the room. (laughs) The teacher turned to the back. And I suppose you have an opinion on this as well, do you, Ara? At the back of the room was a mermaid with wild, curly hair. I do, in fact. Great art doesn't come from what expensive paints you use or what your teacher tells you to do, but... Ara, that's enough. It is best for you to follow the example of a student like Remy. The other students started to be mean to Ara. Yeah, Ara, maybe your paintings would be better if you had a proper easel to put it on, not that one made of driftwood. Yeah, maybe get a proper comb for that hair, too. (laughs) Stop it, that's mean. All right, all right, calm down. Now, today we will be painting these water lilies. 
Now follow my instructions. The class began to paint the water lilies, carefully following every instruction of the teacher. At the end, all the students showed their paintings. All of the paintings were exactly the same, except for one, Ara's. She had used thick chunks of seaweed and bits of shells to make her lily. It was beautiful, but very different from the others. Ara, I have told you time and time again, this is not how we do things at art school. Look at Remy's beautiful painting. It's exactly as it should be. Remy looked at her painting, and then the others. She decided to say something. Well, all of the paintings do look exactly the same. Ara's though is the only one that looks like it hasn't been copied. <gasps> <gasps> Remy, are you telling me that you like Ara's uh, methods? Well, I like ours, but I like hers too. Well. I never thought I would hear this from someone like you, Remy. Such a promising student. Well, this is a good time to tell you all about this year's great Archipool Prize. Oh, the Archipool Prize, what's that? Yes, yes, it's the most important art show this school presents. The requirement for this year is you must work in pairs. I like pears, they're delicious. Perhaps, Remy, now that we've seen your delight in Ara's methods, you will be working together. (laughs) (laughs) What? But Ara and I have never worked together. That's not fair, said Remy. Yeah, and I don't want to work with little Miss Goody Two Fins over here, said Ara. Well, tough tiger trout students, you will both work on this year's Archipool Prize. Together. All right, students, tonight's homework is to go home and look at my self-portrait painting and admire it. Off you go. Ara then swam up to Remy. Right. Well, I suppose we should think about what we want to do for the art show, right? Look, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the painting and we'll just enter it. Your name can still be on it, but I'll just... I'll just do the painting, okay? But the project is for both of us. Ara, they're just going to make fun of what you make, okay? If I make it, we might actually have a chance of winning. That's really mean. Well, it's true. I'm sorry. And Remy swam away to start working on her painting by herself. She worked for weeks and weeks. One day, all the class were talking amongst themselves. Have you finished your painting yet? We've stayed up late every night this week to get it done. I haven't slept for days. I haven't slept for weeks. I've never slept. (gasps) What'd you paint? I'm not telling. You tell me, though. Well, why don't we all say what we're painting at the exact same time? (laughs) Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. One, two, three. A A turtle. turtle. (gasps) (gasps) Are, you- Are we all painting the same thing? Remy couldn't believe what she had heard. Her art piece, the one that she had been working on for weeks and weeks, was a turtle. Oh, not the turtle. Just as the teacher came in to start the day, Remy swam out of the class crying. Okay, class, today we're going to admire my painting of a... <laughs> I'm going to assume that has nothing to do with my painting. Ara swam out after her. Remy, Remy, are you okay? (laughs) Oh, hey, Ara. I'm sorry. I don't think we're going to win the great Archipel Prize anymore. You painted a turtle as well, huh? Yeah. I have a little secret for you. I've been making something as well. Have you? Yep. Let me show you. And they both swam to Ara's art studio. Well, it was more of a natural cave that Ara had made into a studio. Oh, mini beanies. A studio is a special place people like painters or other artists like to do their work. It's also fun to say things like, I'm off to the studio when you go and do some colouring in. Anyway, Ara and Remy both went to Ara's studio. So, as I said, I've been working on something as well. Is it a turtle? Yes. Oh, no. No, no, I did it on purpose. See, I knew everyone was going to paint a turtle. So I thought, hey, I could do something that no one else is doing. But what if I make a turtle like everyone else, but my own version? Wouldn't it be cool to say to them, hey, 
I did a turtle like you, but look how different and special mine is. Right? That'll show them. In the middle of the room was something big. Bigger than a car. But it was covered in a sheet. Ready, Remy? I present to you my turtle. Ara pulled the sheet away and underneath was a sculpture of a huge turtle. Oh, a sculpture is a piece of art that you make with things like clay or wood or those marble people you see in fountains with water coming out their noses. Anyway, Remy was amazed with Ara's turtle. Wow, Ara, that's amazing. Oh, is that driftwood? Yep, I made it out of things recycled here from the ocean. Shells, rocks... Driftwood, bits of boat those pesky humans always leave about. Ara, this is really special. I'm really sorry I doubted you. I should have been nicer to you. Thanks for apologising. If I knew you liked it so much, I could have told you earlier. I'm sure this will win. Well, maybe it'll have a better chance if you added to it. Me? Really? Yeah, we are supposed to be working together. Okay. So Remy started adding to Ara's turtle sculpture. She gave the turtle beautiful patterns of all sorts of colours, painted the eyes to look as if they would follow you around the room, and finished off the turtle shell to make it look as if it was glowing, like a big pearl. I think it looks ready, don't you, Remy? I think it's ready. The next day was the showing of the Great Archipool Prize. And to do the judging was the great mermaid artist, Leonardo da Fischi. He swam around looking at all the entrants and their paintings. Turtle. Turtle. Oh, look. A turtle. Hmm. Oh, another turtle. Hmm. Nice brushwork on the turtle. Well, is that all? Well, there is one more... But we're not sure if... Well, show it to me. I can't wait to see another... Ta-da! Turtle! Ara and Remy revealed the turtle sculpture to Leonardo, and everyone was amazed. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Nice. Look at that. Oh, wow. wow. That's an amazing it's turtle. turtle. Why, this is the best piece of art I have seen in years. Why, this is today's winner by far. Yay! Ara and Remy the mermaids would then go on to make more of their recycled art and be the greatest artists in all the Great Barrier Reefs in the Great Oceans. The The end. end. It's time to close your eyes and wake your imagination. And make a picture in your head of... A a mermaid. mermaid. What colour is your mermaid's tail? Does it have shiny scales or does it change colour? How does your mermaid swim? Do they jump out of the water like a dolphin or slow like a big whale? What does your mermaid's hair look like? Is it long and flowy? What colour is it? Well done, Mini Beanies. You made a A mermaid. mermaid. Now time for a song. I want to be a mermaid and swim like mermaids do. I wish I were a mermaid with an underwater view. I want to be a mermaid and swim below the sea I'd swish around my pretty tail, my fishy friends and me If I were a mermaid, I could swim in the ocean deep If I were a mermaid, there'd be magical things to seek I'd know the mysteries down there where no one else can see If I were a mermaid To be a mermaid with glitter on my tail. I wish I were a mermaid with lots of sparkly scales. I want to be a mermaid 
I'd comb my flowing hair I'd elegantly glide about Splashing here and there If I were a mermaid I could swim in the ocean deep If I were, if a, mermaid, I were a mermaid There'd be magical things to see I'd know the mysteries down there Where no one else can see If I were a mermaid I'd swim far and free Treasure chest. If I were a mermaid, I could swim in the ocean deep. If I were a mermaid, there'd be magical things to seek. I'd know the mysteries down there when no one else can see. If I were a mermaid, I'd swim far and free. Swim, swim, swimming through the sea. Right. Now that we've had our story, can we please do my painting in the park art class? Oh, can we paint a mermaid? No, we're painting flowers. What if it looks like a flower, but is really a mermaid? Ooh, is there flowers underwater? Beanies. I- does anyone know if mermaids no, are stop. real? No, stop. I know someone who does. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're doing art. Professor, Professor Know-It-All. Know-it-all. <laughs> Hello, beanies. And what are we... We're doing my art class. You may join in if you like. Michael and Laura, we can make a mermaid if you prefer. But Professor Know-It-All usually does the lesson. Well, I would like to do the lesson today, please. That works for me. Professor gets a break. (coughs) Uh, Lucky I have my handy-dandy art kit here with me. To make a mermaid toilet roll, (laughs) you will need... A toilet roll, some paper or cardboard, pens and pencils for colouring, scissors, staples, glue, and some glitter. Oh. Do you have your toilet roll? Uh Yes. Laura, we're making beautiful mermaids, not smelly farts. (laughs) Take your toilet roll and make two snippies with scissories down the side, about halfway. Hey, Laura, chuck me those scissors. Here you go. (gasps) No! Ah! Never throw scissors. If you're not careful enough to use scissors yet, then you could ask a big person to make the snippy snips for you. Professor, can you help me snippy snip? Why, yes, Michael, I can. A snippy here and a snippy there. Nice scissor work, Professor. This ain't my first snippy snip. Next, get a stapler and flatten the cut end of the toilet roll together. And staple it. Oi, Laura, chuck me that stapler. Why don't I do that for you? A stapler here and a stapler there. Good. This is the start of the mermaid tail. Next, cut out two paper fins and then staple them to the end of the tail. A cutty cutty here, a snippy snip and a stapley stapley. And then we add beautiful woolen hair with some glue. Glue 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 do 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 glue 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 do 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 glue 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 do 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 glue 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 Good. Then what should one do if you glued your finger to your shoe? Glued your shoe 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 shoe. Come with me, Michael. 
Let's find a sink where you can wash your gluey fingers. Good. Then draw a pretty face on your mermaid and colour the fishy tail a fishy colour. <laughs> Add a sprinkle of glitter. And we're done. Wow, what beautiful mermaids. Oh, pretty. Well done, Laura. Thanks. We're back. I patted a dog with gluey hands and then I got furry gluey hands. It was quite a spectacle. All right, beanies. Thanks for coming to my painting in the park art session. But we didn't do any painting. Well, that's because you got distracted and then told a story and then got glue on your hands and then got furry gluey hands and now it's getting dark. Just another day as Michael Beanie. Maybe you can make your own toilet roll mermaid at home. We'll post up easy step-by-step instructions for you on our Facebook and Instagram page. Remember, our handle is at the beanies A-U-S. But remember to wash your hands if you get glue on them. Bye, Bye, beanies. beanies. Did you like today's podcast? Want even more? Well, in the show notes, you'll find links to things like worksheets to complete about the episode, colouring in pages, dance along videos to the song, and all sorts of fun stuff. How cool. Can't wait to see what you create, mini beanies. The Beanies Beautiful Tunes were brought to you by The Beanies and the magnificent music wizard, James Court. Ah, ah, ah.